about courses today. Who wants to do that? You do? Okay, awesome. So this is such a hot topic. We are all constantly trying to figure out passive income and how it can work for us and what we can do and what course we can create and how we can market it and all the things. So I wanted to help you guys figure out the actual steps it takes to sell a course or create a course or both. <laughs> so I want to take you through sort of what you need to think through when wanting to create a course so that it is no longer a mystery to you. All right, so first and foremost, I want you to think about the type of course you're going to have. Is it something where there is video content with you talking to the camera like I am now? Is it screencast content? Is it just text notes and worksheets? What type of content will you be putting into your course? So think about that first and write it down somewhere so you know sort of how to plan. Second, with that as your determining factor, think about the equipment you might need. I have recorded plenty of course videos on my iPhone and it worked just fine. Right now I use a Nikon DSLR, but the iPhone was perfect for a while. Um, I do have to have some lighting so that I can get this bright, airy look in my office. Although I do have tons of windows in here, I still need a little bit of extra lighting to really brighten it up to where I want it. With Screencast, I use QuickTime and um, use some Adobe programs and Google Docs to create any text notes and worksheets. So think through what you're wanting to do and think through the equipment you might need because you wanna have all of that in place and make sure you're not like scrambling and it's a week before you've decided to release the course and you don't have your stuff together. Okay, so you know what kind of content you're putting out within your course and you know what systems and equipment you need to do that. Now, let's figure out where you're going to host your course. I am a huge proponent of hosting your course on your own website if you're using WordPress, but there are tons of other platforms you can use and plugins you can use to host your courses. Also, if you don't really want to worry with um, plugins and things like that, you can always use programs like Thinkific and Teachable. Both of these really make selling, creating, and publishing a course super easy. So if you're just like, eh, I don't want to worry about all that stuff, then one of those is the way to go. And I personally prefer Thinkific. Now, I like to have a lot of control over exactly what form or tag or segment my course purchasers are going into in ConvertKit. This keeps me really wanting to stay under the WordPress umbrella while I host my courses because I can do this super easily with the plugins that I use. Okay, so now we know what kind of content you're publishing, we know the equipment you need, and we know where you're going to host the course. Now, all you have to do is create it. So I recommend batching days and creating all your video content in one day, creating all of your text and sort of having a formatting day, things like that. Batch process and start way ahead of time. Don't wait until the very last minute to do your course content because then you'll feel very rushed and it may even feel like you don't know what you're talking about. So batch edit, schedule ahead of time, and get to creating, y'all.